Welcome to the Macworld video. I'm Jason Snell, Editorial Director at Macworld. And today I want to talk to you about a Mac gem. This product is called Drag Thing. It's from TLA Systems. It costs $29. And it is one of my favorite Mac utilities of all time. I've actually been using this for 12 years since I was an editor at Mac User Magazine back in the 90s. I reviewed this for Mac users download website with version 1.0. And uh, that was the system seven days. And yet, in all this time, drag thing is still useful. I still use it every day. Um, and it is a great replacement for the dock if you don't like Apple's dock. It's a great supplement to the dock. It's a great place to stash not only your files and your applications, but links to websites and FTP servers and all sorts of other stuff. So I'm going to show it to you now, drag thing. I hope you like it. So here we go. In drag thing, you create docs. Uh, different docs with different items in them. So in this case, I've got a new doc, and I'm going to drag in a few programs, although you can drag in just about anything you could think of from the finder, and they will uh, appear in a doc. You can resize a drag thing doc. You can drag items around. Um, you can make it taller or shorter. Uh, they're very flexible. Um, and as you'll see, you can change what they uh, what they look like too. So you know, I can drag my numbers copy down there, and I can resize it to be narrower, or maybe be a square, be tall, be wide, pretty much anything I want. You can control what your drag thing docs look like. There are lots of different themes in drag thing to choose from. So if you want to personalize your doc to fit in with your desktop pattern and the rest of your Mac interface, it's really easy to do so. But the key is that a at the heart of these docs, you're clicking on the icons to get quick access to programs, documents, folders on your Mac's hard drive. There's really an endless number of ways you can customize the look even beyond the basic appearance. You can have a title bar appear on your dock on the top, you can appear on the side, you can have uh, your icons in the dock have a reflection on them or not. You can have the name of your icon appear um, when you mouse over it in a bar down below. Um, you can have it listed with no title bar at all, just a tab. You can have it on the side. You can resize your icons or have no icons, have them listed with names. There really is no end to it, which is great because it means that you can customize it to exactly the way it works for you and different docs can look different, which would be really useful if you have one doc for documents and one doc for Windows. Adding items to drag thing is easy. You can actually just drag it in in the latest version and you get a little icon that says I'll expand to fit. You can also create multiple tabs in a single doc, which is great for getting lots of items in a small split space on your screen. You right click, choose add layer, it adds another layer to your doc, you can drag more icons on there, give them names and your saving space and still having a lot of items floating in your drag thing doc. And of course you can customize it, change its color, do anything you like, but um, you can get a lot of icons in multiple tabs in a single drag thing doc. Who's got the screen real estate for all these docs, you might be asking. Well, that's the beauty of it. They actually can work as drawers. So in this example, I'm rotating it. I'm moving it over to the side. I say use it as a drawer. And sure enough, when I mouse over, I see my dock. Um, I can select my items. But when I mouse out, the dock goes back away. Here's one of the big ways I use drag thing. I use it to store URLs. Um, for example, FTP sites. I upload files to several FTP sites. I embed those URLs in a drag thing item. I say new URL item. I type out my FTP URL. I can even embed my username or even my password if I want. If I don't use my password, it'll use the keychain. So I've created an FTP icon. Now I'm going to create another one. This is an, an Apple file protocol server. So this is a file server somewhere. I click on that. It's going to log me into my file server and ask for my username and password if I need to. I can even use Leopard's built-in VNC client. So if I create a VNC URL, what that's basically saying is when I click on this, I'm going to take control of the screen of the machine on the other side. So with one click, I can pop open a server that's in my closet and control it from my Mac, which is a whole lot better than having to pull down some menus and type in addresses. I can even give it a custom icon so I can tell it apart from the other URLs in my doc. I don't like Leopard's Stacks feature because I have lots of folders with lots of files in them and they end up looking like this, which is not useful. But I can use DragThing to actually replace my doc 
with the process doc. You check the box that says show running applications in a doc and you've replaced the doc. You still have to hide Mac OS X's doc, but you can use drag things instead. Let me show you. So here's my doc in Leopard and now I'm going to replicate it in drag thing and this is the drag thing version it looks very much the same you have control you can have it look transparent you can have it look like a drag thing doc but if I mouse over I'm seeing the highlights of what the icons are I can right click on it to get a list of the entire contents of my folder in a hierarchical list instead of in a stack I can see the number of new mail messages that have come in I can even see how many items are in my trash can and there's customizability too you can say which items you always want to show up in your process doc and which items you don't ever want to show in the dock, even if they're running programs, which is something Apple's dock doesn't let you do. And one other cool thing that a drag thing dock can do, I'm actually looking at a smart folder with PDFs in it, and when I move through the PDFs, it actually shows me a preview of the th first page of the PDF, which is kind of cool. It's not quick look, but it's cool, and I can open things directly from there. And this is my actual dock that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's get a close-up. I keep all sorts of great stuff in here. I've got some smart folders and some regular folders. I've got file servers that I can click and it'll log me into file servers that I use. I've got a bunch of FTP sites I use on a day-to-day -day basis and I've got kind of a catch-all that's got some FTP sites and some other folders on my system. And I use it every day and it's great. So that's Drag Thing, one of my favorite Mac utilities of all time. $29 from TLA Systems. Find out more at www.dragthing.com. I'm Jason Snell, Editorial Director of Macworld, and we'll see you next time.